Jesus. Excuse me. Are you okay? Have some water? No, thanks. What happened? What did the doctor say? They said his kidney has failed. He's just 24. How can it be possible? He has always been so physically fit. In fact, he was practicing at his gym when accidentally some weights fell on him and he had to be rushed here. Now the doctors are saying, due to excessive blood loss, his kidneys are failing. I can't live without my son. Don't worry. I'm sure he will get well soon. My husband too is having a similar problem. He was having severe headaches for a few days and kept popping in strong painkillers. Then suddenly, he was not able to pass urine and his face puffed up completely. We rushed him here and they immediately put him on dialysis. The doctors say his kidney is affected due to the strong painkillers. He is still in the ICU. My father is 59 years old. He has been having kidney stone problems for several years. But suddenly, he was unable to pass urine, like your husband. We rushed him to the hospital. The doctors say his kidney is severely affected due to blocks in the urinary tract. We just don't want him to suffer. Acute kidney injury is a common, life-threatening condition that few people are even aware of. Timely care can save thousands of lives. Unfortunately, by the time the patient is brought for medical intervention, it is invariably too late. Acute kidney injury is a rapid loss of kidney function and can occur from extensive blood loss, exposure to substances harmful to the kidney, such as overdose of painkillers and obstruction of the urinary tract. Unless treated immediately, this can result in death. A common symptom is reduction in urine output. A person brought to the hospital immediately can usually be saved. However, with every moment of delay, the chances of survival become bleaker. Acute kidney injury can affect people of all ages. Common risk factors are cardiac failure, diabetes mellitus, excessive blood loss, medication that affect kidneys, vascular disease, liver disease, sepsis, etc. If the serum creatinine level doubles in 24 hours, it is indicative of acute kidney injury. A simple blood test can confirm this and treatment started immediately. A sudden reduction in kidney function is called acute kidney injury. Somebody has a chest pain, a heart attack, he is rushed to the ICCU. His blood pressure drops, his kidney function goes down. So overnight, the kidney function goes down. Somebody takes a painkiller which can affect the kidney, his kidney function goes down. So acute kidney injury is something which has happened suddenly. Since it has happened suddenly, it is potentially reversible. If I remove the offending agent, if the painkiller is removed, if the blood pressure goes up, the kidney starts functioning again. If on the contrary, the injury continues, the person can lose life. So there is hardly any time in acute kidney injury. The body cannot adapt itself. This is unlike chronic kidney disease. So the patient has immediate symptoms. His urine output drops, there is swelling of the face, and he can become critical in 24 hours. Acute kidney injury, as I said, is potentially reversible. It can happen due to pre-renal causes, when there is less blood reaching the kidney, like a dehydration following a gastroenteritis, or low blood pressure due to a heart attack, or due to infection, or it can happen due to a renal cause, which is cause related to the kidney itself, like a drug painkiller, or some allergic disease affecting the kidney. Or it can be occasionally post-renal, 
where there is a block to the urine output from the kidney. So all these conditions can lead to acute kidney injury. This year's theme for the World Kidney Day is acute kidney injury. The importance of it is to realize it very early. There is hardly any time. It is potentially reversible. It is also potentially fatal. I was a patient of acute kidney injury. I was diagnosed with the nephritic syndrome in 1998. And the basic symptoms were just puffiness around my eyes and uh, swelling around my ankles. And I also started having less urine output in due course of time. I was on immunosuppressants for some time, but uh, it did not work and my kidneys were not functioning normally. And after three or four months, uh, I was put on continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis, uh, two cycles a day for five months. And this process literally saved my life and my kidneys started functioning normally. It's been 14 years since I was out of the CAPD and now I've been uh, normal, I'm following a normal diet. I'm functioning normally, my kidneys are normal and I'm working and I'm dancing and my life is quite at ease now. I was in the work, after that I fell down and fell down. After that I went to the hospital. After going to the hospital, I didn't get a little bit of a pain, I didn't get a loose motion, I didn't get a vomit. After that I didn't get a little bit of a problem. I was able to get a little bit of a dilation, I didn't get a little bit of a pain. Now it's okay, it's normal. Sapiens Health Foundation was founded in 1997 with the idea of helping patients with kidney disease. It has been championing the cause of kidney disease since then. Several thousand patients have been helped with subsidized dialysis and kidney transplantation. Health education has been the focus recently. We have been trying to prevent kidney disease in the community. Several institutions in and around Chennai have been screened for kidney disease and an awareness is created to people with simple tips to protect their own 